Hey, what is going on, you guys? My name is Rage, and we are back today to unpack Marvel Strike Force's newest weekly blog post here, uh, being the champion of Corbin. So, happy Friday. Hope you guys are staying safe and doing well. Let's unpack what's going on uh, in the upcoming festivities and events. So, what I like about this new format is that they really do a much better job in laying out, you know, what's going to be happening, especially for uh, July 8th to July 14th. So, pretty much the span of what's happening within the next week. So, it gives us some really good clarity uh, with events, milestones, how to prepare, right? So nothing crazy on July 9th uh, with just an Orb Blitz 10th, uh, which is in just a few days here. We're going to have a Gamut Blitz. We have the Galactic Warzone Milestone. So uh, with this one, it's going to be collecting War Credits in addition to earning these uh, Allied Supply Orb Fragments, likely some more details below, as well as a Second Sun Web Milestone where we are going to be utilizing the spending of Power Core. So make sure you guys have that saved up as well as uh, collecting War Credits. That's likely going to obviously be involved in uh, participating in Alliance War. We got the Mischief Returns earning Deceiver Orb Fragments through the Arena Payout as well as spending Arena Credits. So uh, we saw this in the data mine before where saving up the Arena Credits. Hopefully you guys are able to follow that and have been banking then. Uh, we're going to be taking advantage of that just to maximize some, some potential point bonuses. We got Permanent Legendaries here uh, being updated with Phoenix, Jubilee, and Adam Warlock. So really, really big, uh, especially for the community. Uh, those always waiting for the cycle transitions, uh, waiting for that confirmation here. Now finally getting getting it and get seeing that officially being live and in game uh july 14th here we got beta ray bill first opportunity for character shards red star orb updates so we're going to be opening that for sure that day of we got the quick rumble for rebirth wolverine weapon x costume being added as well as uh back to the boot camp and block party so great to get that heads up there Having said that, we see that Beta Rib Bill is coming to the game, guys. So he's going to be available, like I said, July 14th. Make sure to take advantage of that. Uh, as we've seen with these uh, events and showcases, there's going to be one that likely corresponds with him, as well as his uh, orb that comes about with the 675 cores, or you can also uh, buy him as well. Defender of Valhalla event. So uh, if you recall, these are all the events that are kind of adding towards uh, the month-long event. But it looks like there is now a Commander Level 50 uh, to participate after they've done some review over the completion data. So uh, just a heads up there. It looks like they're evaluating feedback for that in the near future. Players below that commander level 50 will see special events instead. Uh, more tailored towards the relevant rewards and engagement opportunities to help tutor uh, adding uh, you know lessons and, and, and additional um, uh, guidance on the event gameplay. So that's really good for those kind of progressing and not understanding the game as well. Hopefully, you know, that's more clear, obviously, going forward. We got the Galactic Warzone update. So the battle over Nexus Earth, this airspace rages on. Um, looks like we're taking advantage of this event. Like I said, Alliance War credits, uh, opening up the Ally Supply orbs in order to bring home the gems of Satorak, which adds to the month-long event. Um, and then as well, it looks like that's starting actually pretty quick here. Um, no breakdown here, unfortunately. So maybe maybe it's a little bit lower down there. We'll take a look. And then as well, if you recall, with the arena efforts, we're going to be using this as well for the Deceiver or fragments so this is the breakdown here guys as you can see uh the helmet of glory is what we ideally want to aim for it looks like that's available at thirty-five thousand points and we're going to be needing that from the deceiver or fragments built up over time and it looks like this is a seven day event uh, so that's going to be coming from a combination of uh, these different events, um, such as, you know, utilizing um, the arena rewards, buying them with the credits. So we don't have that breakdown yet. Like, once it comes in game, I'll definitely do a revision here. But unfortunately, it doesn't look like that details disclosed just yet. We have the second sun web milestone, as I noted earlier, through the usage of power cores. Uh, and let's see here if they get this uh, breakdown here. Yeah, spending one power corn is going to amount to one point. Repeats eight times for a duration of each day. So just be mindful if you are taking advantage of this. It looks like um, for the maximum of each reward here anyways, uh, 250 power cores is all you need to do to earn all the gems. Uh, so that's actually pretty sustainable over a daily, especially if you're refreshing already four times per day for campaign. Generally, that's about 200 cores. So just an extra refresh somewhere else in the game is gonna get you that max milestone there. Valhalla Reborn. So um, this is looking like the, yeah, the next quick rumble for Rebirth as noted earlier. So that's pretty easy. Make sure you guys are taking advantage of that. The higher the Rebirth you have, the more points. So you can see here, um, the higher level stars is going to make it easier to 
get through and obviously you can maximize those milestone points generally don't have issues there and then as well the beta rate beat down here for uh, the showcase right just breaking down what we've already seen typically with the story and challenge each with eight missions and what we've seen from the past is the bifrost combination of new warriors and it looks like that still remains the case however keep in mind now each of these showcase events build up on the previous events before so right now now um this requires beta rate bill as well as teen loki and vow it all started with Vow and then obviously added uh, Teen Loki's event just went live. So uh, just be mindful of that they have to be equipped at least gear tier 13 to partake in the challenge difficulty for these said rewards. And as noted earlier, we've got some permanent legendary events coming. So this is really big, I think, uh, just for the community to have access to these characters whenever their your specific star requirements are completed. We can actually access them readily available. And the good news is that uh, we didn't get any announcements here in this blog post, but with the permanent cementing of these legendary characters it also means that they're likely replacing that rotation with scourges right so that's really big especially if you're trying to unlock the legendary horseman i think this is a big step especially cementing phoenix uh jubilee and adam warlock it means that now those rotations are out of the way i think the only other one that's kind of remaining is omega red uh, once those were the ones are completely out of the way they can start cycling through the scourges kind of similar to what the previous legendary events have been and then bumps uh b-u-m-p-s this is just our new acronym here to basically explain and clarify for blitz ultimus mega and premium orbs uh going to the supply store so this is a nice easy way uh frat, if, you know uh goes off the rolls off the tongue pretty easily just to say that so you know shout out to them you know just a little bit of quality of life there we got the friday free claim here in terms of the five shards coming here for uh, team loki make sure you take advantage of that also some gens of torque and as well as the uh the shards here Awesome, good stuff. Yeah, so uh, quick and uh, short and sweet update, guys. Nothing too crazy in terms of an update, but uh, I think probably next week we'll see an update in regards to the Scourge because they were speculating that at least Morgan Le Fay or Rogue would be coming back in this current month. So we probably will hear about it next week or the week after, but stay on the lookout for that. With them cementing some of these legendary events, uh, it does uh, give us a pretty good clarity and guidance that they'll likely be returning sooner rather than later. Other than that, guys, I hope you guys have a fabulous weekend. Thank you as always, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.